tomorrow at True Connection with 43 small gift ideas for your ex of service partner. You want to help your partner, right? They need you to help them and support them, like actually help them and support them. That's what their love language is all about. So what in the world kind of gift can you get when everybody teases you about no one wants a blender and no one wants a lawnmower? Well, <laughs> that's true, but that might not be true for your partner or for you if you share this love language. So hopefully you've already gotten online, taken the love language assessment by Dr. Gary Chapman, and you know your primary love languages, both of you. It's holiday time, your anniversary, Valentine's Day, a birthday, and you want to know what to get your partners. I published last week regular size gift ideas for acts of service. This week is small gift ideas because you probably want to have a stash around the house of things that you want to do just because, or you see that your partner's down, or you just feel inspired to do something special for them. So this is for like your stash or something you want to add to a larger gift. These are 42 big gift ideas and it's going to be a lot of fun just to look through these. You're going to kind of giggle because they're really useful and fun, but you might wonder if your partner would like them. So click on the image in the blog. It will pop up and then see if it suits your partner. And of course you want to consider their other love language. So if they have a second love language or a third, you want to look at those blogs too because you want to incorporate both love languages into gift giving and I tagged each item with other love languages. So for instance, if a gift is also quality time, I put quality time in gifts or I put words of affirmation and touch. So you know if it's a combination of love languages. So that can help you too. So check out the blogs that apply to your partner and then think about your own too because your partner's going to want to know what you would appreciate for their little stash around the house or a holiday or a birthday or a tradition. True-connection.net, that's where you'll find the blogs and that's where you'll find me if you want to noodle through this a little bit more or if you want to just talk about love languages and what they really mean. I also am going to include in the description and in the blog a link to Gary Chapman's book because that's where you can find detailed information. So you can look up acts of service. What does this mean? Does doing the dishes really make her feel loved? It might be fun just to learn more. You can look up just acts of service in the book. It gives you more information and then you'll know better how to show love and appreciation to your partner. So happy holidays, happy birthday, happy anniversary, happy shopping.